Hey you guys, this is Eric at Imagiboom, and I'm so happy to be with you again, sharpening my pencil with my favorite pencil sharpener. Works really good. I'm using a pencil graphite today, not a pen. And it's quite different because the line quality is softer and very nice. Today, drawing, is there a special request from Jenny in Hawaii? And she wants me to teach you guys and her how to draw a cat. I love cats. I love to draw cats because they're very interesting characters. So here we go. Let's start with the nose, which is a rounded triangle, okay? And I immediately put in the highlight and the darkness. So I like to see that shiny nose at the very beginning. Straight up from that nose, I get these two semicircle kind of things. Keep it loose, keep it fun, right? And then polka dot eyes. And then I'm gonna straight down here. Everything's straight, see straight here, straight here, pretty easy. And I really, Carve, curved, curved smile, really hard curve. And let's do this like a round thing, like a round. Some polka dots here, the whiskers come out of. Boom, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three here. Maybe some low eyelids that are shaded. Maybe, okay. This cat's kind of lazy looking. <laughs> um, how about a tongue? A cute little tongue sticking out there. And a little bit of fur here. Move the camera down. And then do this, look at these ears. See these ears like that? Maybe like this, like curvy. And then, come on. Fat body, fat face. See the fur? <laughs> Furry chest coming up there. Big fat cat. Let's do a fat one. Some shadows under there. Fat cat, look at that. Lots of fur way out there, way out there. Let's shade inside the ear a little bit. Give it some contrast. What do you guys think? Is this fat cat worth it? Put some more little one, two, threes in here, little whiskers and stuff. Yeah, maybe I'll shade this in. If I had colors, I would probably color this orange or something like black and gray. That's like the fur. Here's like the fur of the, the head part. Heavy lines on the outside, heavy lines. And you know what, keep it loose, like I always say, keep it loose and fun, Just splash some lines around. Polka dots and squiggly marks. Just make it your own fun playground. This drawing is for nobody but you. So we don't have to be so concerned about rules. Let's just have fun. Make it crazy. I don't care if you scribble through it. Just make it cool, loose, you know. Eric. There's a kitty cat for Jenny in Hawaii. Hope she likes it. See if you can draw that too. And you, by the way, let me tell you something. You don't have to try just once. You can try to draw this guy many times. Or draw your own cat, your own style. Skinny, cross-eyed, uh, sunglasses, full body. Hey, where's the tail, by the way? Whoop, there's the tail in the background there. Stripe tail, stripe, stripe. Let's make a paw here, like whoop, whoop. Keep going for him. He never ends. 
Look at this guy. It's pretty fun. <laughs> all right, Jenny, I hope you like it. I hope all you kids like this. Teachers, parents. Should we name this kitty cat? What's this cat's name? Ah, uh, let's see. Stromboli. Stromboli. Strom. Boli. Stromboli the cat. Hmm, where'd that name come from? I don't know. Okay, see you guys. Have a good one. Good job.